What's the best way to keep your radios and also your phone, maybe a camera, earbuds, whatever you're charging up these days? What's the best way to keep these charged in the field? If you want a portable charger and a way to charge your radio, assuming that your radio is USB-C, take a look at this. So what is the best way to charge your radio? With all of these new radios and new batteries, I'm actually working on a new video <laughs> for a list of radios that all include uh, USB-C charging, which is, which is a lot of them now. It has been a little bit slow going to get the ham radio manufacturers around to realizing that USB-C charging is a good thing, or USB charging in, in general is a good thing, and several of them were micro USB for a long time, but now we're see, starting to see an influx of USB-C charging, and that's a good thing. So what's the best way to keep those charged in the field? Now, I've got three charges I'm going to show you today, and I have shared this first one on multiple of my Friday shopping videos. I've shared it in my email blast. Sign up for my email list at hamradio2.com forward slash email dash sign up. Once we get to a stable number of 20,000 subscribers or more, it's jumped over that a couple times, but then dropped back down to like 19,950 or something. Once we get a stable level of 20,000 or more, I'm going to do a giveaway of an HF radio to someone on that list. You have to be on that list to be eligible for that giveaway. So go sign up for that right now. I've sent it out there. I've shared it on Insta. I've shared this on Instagram. I've shared it in my Discord pages, several of my Discord pages, and this has been the most popular item on my Amazon store in the last three months, probably, something like that. This little guy here, and prior to this, I had another charger with a PD output that I still have and still use, and it's great for, and that other one will charge, um, will actually run your 705. This one here is great, and I got it because I have a little go bag that I carry with me in the truck. Sometimes I'll carry it as like a shoulder bag when I'm going places, but generally speaking, it sits uh, it sits in my vehicle. It's my everyday carry bag. It has my journal in it. It has uh, a radio in it, some flashlights, some stuff like that. And I wanted a charging solution for something to that would fit in that bag. So I picked up this INIU charger, the 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack, USB-C in and out, fast output charging. I have charged numerous radios, including my Waxon radios, my B-Tech radios, my new ID52 Anniversary Edition radio, uh, my Kenwood D75, uh, several Baofeng radios, a couple, other, a couple others I'm probably forgetting right now, but several of these radios have charged. I've char This will charge my phone about two, maybe two and a half times. Something like that. If my phone's down to like 15 or 20%, I'll put it in there, charge it back up to 80%, and I can do that two or three times. So this is a great, and this limited to time deal here, right here, has been going on for like three months. So 20 bucks for this thing. And you got in, today, today, you get an additional 10% off coupons, another $2, $2 off of that price right there. Recently, I found its big brother, which is this 20,000 milliamp hour power supply. Power bank, I should say. 65 watt USB-C, laptop portable charger, PD, QC fast charging, that kind of thing. And you can see in the picture right there, yeah, well, you can see in the picture right there on the left, the in-out is a 65-watt PD port right there. The middle port is an output uh, USB-C 36-watt, and the uh, one on the right is an output USB 3.0 18-watts. That one in the middle, that 36-watt in the middle, that's the one I ran my Starlink mini dish on for about two two hours and 10 or 15 minutes, something like that. I plugged my Starlink mini into this power bank, into the 36 watt port, so not even the biggest port. And I ran that Starlink Mini for about two hours, just as a test. I was doing it specifically as a test. We were out at the hunting lease. I was browsing on my phone. I was watching uh, Instagram reels or watching some YouTube stuff, checking my email, all doing it from the Starlink Mini while it was plugged into this battery bank. And this battery bank ran that for just over two hours. The Starlink Mini only draws about 21 to 24 watts. So this 36 watt port was plenty for it. Um, granted, two hours is not going to last you all day, but f for something this small, I thought that was pretty impressive. But this thing will try, I mean, this thing will run your laptop. The 65 watt PD port there on the left will run most tablets and laptops. It's not going to fast charge a laptop, but it will keep the laptop running and keep it charged. And um, and this is a great source as well. It's 20,000 milliamp hours, where this first one is 10,000 milliamp hours. It's, uh, again, the reason I chose this one is because it's smaller 
And I've got uh, I've got both of these to show you right here today. All right, these are how they come. This is this is great. I'm going to talk about this third one here in just one second. But these come with these little mesh bags here. Now you may think, well, big deal. I don't I don't really care about that. And at first, I didn't really care about it either. But I tell you what, the thing that's cool about these little bags is that you can keep a cable in there with it. I mean, I I have found, and I didn't I, I never would have thought this unless I did it myself. I've had this one for maybe four months. I've had this one for maybe a month, month and a half at the time of this recording. And I, it, it is incredibly convenient to just have this in your pack, in your backpack, in your vehicle. And if you need to charge something, you just open up, you, you've got it all in this little, this little drawstring bag here that it comes with. You open it up and you've got a, you got your charger charged up. This one's at 91% right now. And you've got a cable that goes into, and you can put a USB-C cable in here if you want to. But this one goes into the USB-A, and that'll charge USB-C, no problem. This one has the same thing. Cable right there. This is a longer cable than what it came with. I, I replaced this myself because I just wanted a longer cable in that one. And I should probably put a USB-C cable in this one as well. But then that one's at 100%, and that one's the one with the, with the three ports on the top. This one on the far left here is the 65-watt PD port right there. 30, 36 watt uh, USB-C and 18 watt USB-A. So that's that right there. They also have this this little guy right here, which I didn't know what that was for at first, but that is a stand for your phone. If you want to plug your phone in while it's charging, then you can set it down like that. It doesn't really hold my, my Z Fold very well because the Z Fold's a little bit heavier, but that's what that's for. Is that I saw some guys using it online with a with a phone you kind of like a little resting case for your phone right there but i don't use that because it doesn't hold my phone but that is what that's for i thought that these you know again i didn't think these really much of anything of these bags when they first came in. i was like oh that's neat it's got a little carrying bag that's fine i don't really need that and then i found that stuffing a cable in here just makes it incredibly easy because you've always got a cable with you now i usually carry a bag in my edc pack i usually carry a small bag of cables anyway so for me, that's not that big of a deal, but I find myself, since I'm opening up this battery pack and I'm like, well, I need a cable for it. And it, this is just right there with it, <laughs> makes it that much faster. So it's the little things. It really is the little things. So there's those, both of those right there. That's the size of my smartphone. You can see this one's about the size of my smartphone there. And then this one's maybe two thirds the size of my smartphone right there. So that's a good uh, size comparison there. Now, the last one I'm going to show you is this one right here. And this one's actually bigger than that large one we just looked at, that 20,000 milliamp hour. This one is 32,000 milliamp hours. It is 5 volt, 3A fast charger, portable, blah, blah, blah. So it's only 23.99, where this 20,000 milliamp hour right here from INIU is 35 with their limited time deal that's been going for a long, long time. Okay, 30, 30, $36 basically for that one. This one here is 32,000 milliamp hours, so it's 12,000 milliamp hours larger, and it's cheaper. It's $24, and it right now it has a 15% off coupon, so you can even get that for a little bit less. The problem with this one, and it's not really a problem. It depends on what you're using it for, okay? I have this one. I have it right here. I'll show it to you in the overhead in just one minute. The problem with this one is it doesn't have uh, PD output. It doesn't have USB-C PD output. It's got Type-C, uh, USB-C, a 30-watt, or a... Um, it's got a micro USB port uh, for 18 watts, and then it's got two USB-A ports. So if we look at the overhead camera right here, these are these are both USB uh, USB-A ports. Obviously, they are USB 3.0, but they are you know they're red for whatever reason, just the way they did it. That's a micro port down there at the bottom, and that's a, a USB-C port on the top. The USB-C port is actually made to charge this battery pack. It does do output. It does do output, but it's only 30 watts, like the like the picture in the on the website says just now. So it does have a larger capacity. It, it'll last longer just because it's, it's 12,000 milliamp hours more than this, but it doesn't come with the, with the carrying case. It probably came with the USB-C cable when I got it. I don't remember. I've had this one for a while. It probably came with the USB-C cable, but since, or a USB, it probably came with a, a C to A cable. Uh, t so you could charge it because you, you plug the C in here and you plug your A into the wall or something. And that's how you recharge this after it's, it's run down. But it doesn't have a carrying case, and it doesn't have PD output on the USB-C port. So if that's something that's important to you, then this may or may not work for you. But, I mean, 
I still maintain that I know a lot of you are going uh, saying that you want to go USB-C completely, and I think that eventually that's going to be a good idea. Right now, most devices that you buy that are USB-C chargeable, they come with a cable that's A on one end and C on the other. So USB-A, it's going to be a long time before USB-A gets phased out. Wanted to, but USB-C is faster, especially if it's power delivery. It's a, if it's a power delivery port like this one has, then it will be faster. It will charge faster, and it will you don't have to wait as long for your device to get charged back. And this one will run a laptop. This one will run a laptop. It's doubtful this one would run a laptop. It's only 30 watts, so it's not going to run any laptop that uh, or any tablet that requires like a 65-watt or larger uh, power distribution. So that's that's the thing there. But these are three power banks that I have used for the last... I mean, I, I don't remember when I got this one, this 32,000 one. It's, uh, I mean, for 24 bucks, you really can't beat that. Put it in your own case and put your own battery with it, then, you know, or put your own uh, cables with it. But no big deal there. But I've had that one for a while, and it is heavier also. Ah, uh, maybe a little bit. It's a little bit heavier. It's not that big of a deal, I don't think. This one's nice and small and, and lightweight. But this is what I've used. I've used these for the last several months. This is basically the only charging banks that I use for USB-C charging stuff. I do have my battery boxes I take with me also, yes. And I mainly got this one because it would fit in my, my little EDC go bag, and which just stays in the truck all the time. And I've used it. I probably used it the most out of all of them just because it's more portable, easier to carry around, and a little bit more convenient. So those are the ones that I suggest. If you guys have something different you'd like to see or you use and you would recommend, I would like to know what it is. Put a comment in the description below. Today's video is sponsored by my Amazon store. As an Amazon associate, I do earn commissions from qualifying items on the website, which includes all these three items we're looking at today. I will get a commission if you guys go to Amazon and buy it through the link that I'm going to share in the description below. It does not cost you anything at all to use my link over than just going to Amazon and using whatever link you find on there. Costs you nothing, but I earn a small commission from it. Thank you for using those links because it does to help, help to support the channel. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next time.